Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing my initial uh, Sims run for uh, today's MLB slate. And this is what we're going to be doing pretty much every day that you know, I have time to do it, because these new Sim contest uh, tools are pretty important. And I'm learning myself on how to best get through you know, the process, just getting faster and faster at it. And so what I'm, what I'm going to do is pretty much every morning that I again have time, I'll do my initial builds and and uh, and contest contest simulations, showing you guys actually how to to execute that using Saber Sim in the context of this particular slate, um, and show you how to upload lineups to you know to to the entry files and things like that. So again, this is not exactly who I'm going to be playing, but it's a process video to show you you know uh, how to how to do this. Now again, I might end up playing these guys, and maybe this will give you a good idea of who looks good. Um, for tonight's slate, but again, everything changes throughout the course of the day. Um, so again, we have Saber Sim up here, and I cheated a little bit yesterday in that I did some things beforehand. I'm not going to do that. We're going to do everything kind of the long way to show you exactly kind of how long it takes to do it. Um, because you know, listen, a lot of this is time management and things like that. Um, and I honestly just fired up the screen. I didn't upload anything yet. I didn't even see what what things saved from yesterday we're just going to go right through it so we do have the DraftKings slate up which is which is at least a good start so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to upload my own player projections um now you can use the saber sim ones as you know if you prefer that but i'm uploading my own um but again if you're going to go to DraftKings and just use uh saber sim you have to change a couple of things to make DraftKings happy so you see that i put my projections in i put my ownership projections in um, and the first thing that we want to do is we want to, uh, to build lineups. We, don't, we cannot do a contest sim until we first build lineups. So I happen to know that I'm going to be playing 50 lineups in the, in the, at the most, right? Um, so we're going to put 50 lineups in. We're going to build it off of 50,000 pool size. We're not going to make any changes okay, to start off with. We are just going to uh, just run this. Now, again... I'm not gonna pause the video and pull it back for when these things are done because I think it's important to see like how long this actually takes in real time. Uh, my computer is not particularly fast. Uh, it's not particularly slow either. So I consider this kind of a normal estimation of, of how long things take. And again, it could get a little busier during the course of the day. I'm not sure how SaberSim servers work, um, but this gives you an idea. So you see, it gets through 5,000 lineups, I mean, relatively quickly. I'm sure that you know, some computer people would argue this is too slow. Some people would say this is like, like lightning. But this, this is a reasonable period of time, what, 30 seconds to get through 5,000 lineups? Um, okay, so it's finalizing. This sometimes stalls just a little bit. I don't want to say stalls because it could be working, but because of the way the, the, you know, the, the GUI is, maybe it just says finalizing lineups, right? for a longer period of time when it's actually not actually finalizing. All right, so loading. Okay, so here are all the lineups. Now I'm not gonna change anything, but what I like to do is just check and see what's up before I even do anything. Um, I look at stack exposure. So it's mostly five twos, five threes, which is what I like. I look at the team stacks. Seems though Texas is the highest exposed um, followed by the Dodgers, then the Angels. Then I also look at players just to see, you know, like for example, who the highest owned pitchers are. And looks as though uh, Zach Thompson and Joey Estes are the top two owned. I imagine that means we're going to be paying up for the hitting and paying down for the pitching. Uh, that's this initial run. Okay, so I mean, obviously if we wanted to, we could just upload these lineups and just kind of go with it. You'll see that it's already stuck on uh, just a large slate, uh, which is what we want. And we can sort by whatever we want here, but we're going to go and do the contest sims. So the first thing we have to do is go to contest sim settings. And we're going to put add contest sim. So this, I was wondering if this actually uh, saved from you know, previous builds. I guess it doesn't, um, but maybe I'll, I'll ask Jordan about this. So we do have to enter the contest that we're playing we have to kind of specify the contest size, 
percent to first and whatever. And we also have to specify the field lineups. In other words, we're comparing our lineups to the um, to what everybody else is doing. So uh, um, it's important to figure out what we're assuming other people are doing. And fortunately, Sabersim has pretty good defaults in here with what, what uh, the field is, tends to do, uh, depending on what stakes they're playing and things like that. Now, again, I lied a little bit. This is not a real-time discussion of how long it takes because, as you see, I'm taking time to, to describe what I'm talking about. So it's obviously going to be much shorter than this, but just I think it's important for context to see to show me what we're doing here. So we're going to do this one at a time. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the relay throw, which is the of the lottery, the fifty, you know, the the one that I'm playing fifty lineups in, relay throw, and we like to use flagship MME for uh, the relay throw, which is basically the lottery. And just to make sure what we have here, you have the relay throw, fifteen thousand. 600 entries and we presume these are going to sell out okay but you could pull some so 15,600 entries um it's going to be 25 percent for first right 50 and then they pay how many 348 out of 15 six or 20 percent okay so 20 per 25 percent for first 20 uh percent pay 15,600 for contest size. So let's put this in 15,600 contest size. Um, where they say 20% for first, where they say 25. Let's see. Um, we're going we're gonna to try to do this correctly 25%, 20% base, and we're going to do 50,000 sims. So we're now going to save those settings. And you'll see that there should be one save here. Relay throw. Okay. Now we'll do another one. We're going to do contest sim. We're going to call this the walk off. That's kind of a big buy-in, 555. And because it is the big buy-in, we're going to change the field lineups to high-stakes MME. Um, now let's go into contest size and see. we'll see that this is much less. So it's going to be, click through this. I could probably save a little time by saving these settings. Um, but let's see if we can do that. Uh, so 300 entries. Uh, it looks like 33% for first and again, 20% for, um, 20% pay. So 33% for first 300 entries. So let's put that in 33% for first 300 entries, still paying 20%. And we are uh, 5,000, 50,000 sims again. So we'll save these settings. So now we have relay throw, walk off, add another contest sim. And that's going to be the, uh, the, uh, the ball four. Now the ball four is very similar to the, um, to the uh, 555. So we are going to keep that the same, I think, but let's just double check and let's just make sure. And it's good to do this from time to time to, to see, honestly, what these contests are that you're playing. You know, I, I, so here we have 25% for first. So that's a little different. 355 entries, pretty much the same, 20%. So we'll up the entries to 355 and then we'll reduce the percent to first to 25%. So this looks good. Ball four, three for twenty-five percent. Okay. Ball four, save settings. Okay. Now we're going to add another one. We're going to add uh, the battery, which is a single entry. So the single entry, we are going to uh, save this. So it's going to be flagship single entry. Flagship. We could put high stakes single entry, but it's only one twenty-one, so it's not really high stakes. Let's look at the, um, number of entries, three, 367 paying only very little for, so only 12 and a half percent for first, right? So 12 and a half percent for first, uh, same thing and 367. So 367 entries, only 12 and a half percent. And you see that, you know, it's going to require a different type of build when you only need, when it's only paying 12 and a half percent for first, you know, it can be much more conservative. Uh, save settings. 
And we're almost done. We have one more to do. We're going to call this the batter's eye. Well, that's what it's called. Batter's eye. And this one is kind of like a mid-stakes MME. So that's what we're going to put in here, mid-stakes MME. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. Batter's eye. 25% uh, for first, 516 entries. So 20, 516 entries, 25% for first, just like this. So we're going to save these settings. And so now we have all of these contest sims saved. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run a contest sim. Now, I don't know yet whether I want to put min uniques to first or after I run the contest sim or whether it even makes the difference. So let's just run the contest sims first and let's see how long this takes. For what I've seen is that for five different contests, it might take about a minute, but let's just see. If you do it for just the one contest, it takes like 30 seconds. So, but I think that a minute is a fair assessment. And again, I could have paused this, but again, you guys want to, I mean, we're trying to make this as much like reality as possible. So you need to see like how much time you need to allocate to play this way. You can't just run it, you know, you can't just run lineups, enter them and whatever in like 30 seconds. You, you do have to put a little bit of time into this. Now, the thing is that if you do this early in the day, like you enter the contest sim settings and you set all this up, then it becomes much easier later when, um, when projections change and you actually want to put the stuff in. So invest like maybe five minutes. It's all it took, right? When you know what tournaments you want to play to put in the contest sims. And it turns out that if you don't want to play any of these, you don't have to. Um, but what I'd like to do, do is figure out whether these things can be saved across, um, across future slates. Okay. So I lied. I guess it takes a little bit more than a minute to do the full five um, five contest sims. But again, I mean, I'm just I'm trying my best to just. Okay, there it is. Run contest sim. All right. So it's all done. So now what we have to do is. We have to, for each of these contests, decide how we're going to rank these. So like, for example, um, for the uh, first one, for the relay throw, they have this drop down here. You can either rate these by ROI, RAROI, win rate, whatever. I, I, for now, let's just use ROI to rank these. And so these, so this is what we have here. These are the top 50 lineups, okay, rated by um, by ROI specifically for the relay throw, okay? So what we want to do is we want to save this now to my contest if we want. You know, we could now change it. We could put min uniques too, for example. And I think it's actually pretty wise. Now it's it's fun until I see what we have, you know. But so stack exposure, five threes, team stacks, you know, ninety percent Houston, All right? You know, it's what it is. You could you could you change that, you know, after the fact by giving yourself less. But this is what you're getting. You're getting fifty percent Houston. Um, so again, this is process. Um, so let's put save to my contests. Now what we want to do is we want to do download template for from DraftKings. It's downloading what I have here. And now we're uploading the entries file. To here. And we have to pick method. This is one thing we we got to do last time. Unique random. That's what we like to do here. And we're going to save these to um the relay thread. So we're going to do that. And you see that it's shimmied over here, which means that it, it changed some. So now we're just going to go on, you know, tournament by tournament and just do the same thing. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the walk-off. 
Now, with walk-off, we only played one lineup. So you have to change that to one lineup. Okay. And this is, you know, the top lineup we get for that. And if we want to keep it the way it is, well, we don't need more than one unique. Obviously, it's only one lineup. So we can save to my contests. We're going to change that to uh, walk off and save the contests. And we're good. Now we're going to go to ball four, ROI. Change to this. See, it's a total, little different lineup. We're going to save this to my contest, save this to ball four. Then we're going to go to battery, single entry. A little bit different. Save to my contests. Battery. Then we're going to go to the last one, which is the batter's eye, right? Batter's eye. Played three lineups in that one. Three, oh, three lineups here. Now we could make sure we do min win one unique, which is well min two uniques if we want to. But okay, so that's three lineups now. Now you see this is a very similar lineup to something we had already, which is okay. So we'll save this to contests. We'll save this to batter's eye. It's three. We're gonna save them all. So now we have all these in, and now what we do is we download the entry file for DraftKings. Go back into DraftKings. And then we will uh, edit entries, upload, upload, and upload. Now we're just gonna double check and make sure that this all took, which it should have, and it, and it, and it has. Now, again, th this is making no changes and making no um, you know, tweaks in the process. So if you're just going to rely on the projections and those little saber sim tweaks, like the min uniques and, 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 and that, um, this is really all you would need to do to make use of the contest sims. Now, again, if you wanted to, you know, to, to do a sanity check and see what you have, you know, then you can do that. You know, you could go into each contest and see where you, where you are. Um, like for the relay throw, for example, as you recall, I have 92% Houston. Maybe I don't want 92% Houston. However, what's interesting is that in any of the single build lineups, like the, the walk off or, or the ball for whatever, I didn't have any Houston, you know? So maybe I want to, you know, keep my money exposure um, the way it is because of money exposure, if I have 92% Houston in the relay throw, that doesn't really, you know, it's only $700 where the walk-off itself is 555, you know? So, so um, depends on how you want to gauge your portfolio exposure. But that's pretty much it for uh, the early look at the contest sims um, for DraftKings. Do I want to do FanDuel? Yeah, you know what? You guys can always stop the uh, stop the video if you don't want to do it. So let's 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 see if we do FanDuel. Now FanDuel, I haven't done yet. I haven't tried this one yet, so this could be a train wreck. But let's just see. So again, this is completely brand new. I have never done a contest sim using FanDuel. I have saved my lineups over. I said saved entries over there, so maybe that'll help. But let's just see. So upload, same thing as before. I presume. Let's just see what happens. Uh, well, we're, we're again, we're we're doing the um, my custom projections here. You don't have to do this with FanDuel, but you can just put in whatever Sabres it has. All right, so same thing. We're going to be playing fifty lineups in the in the lottery over there. So let's just do the same thing here. Fifty lineups, no changes. Build settings, I mean build lineups, and let's just see. Now I'm curious if the the contest sims translated from one site to the other. Shall see. I keep forgetting. I mean, if you guys didn't want to see the fan this vandal part, you could have just stopped the video. Be fine. Then you don't know though what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do something really cool at the end. Probably not.
you know, you've seen that this is this video. Again, we're not doing any analysis or anything like that. We're just showing how to use the Sims, how to use the contestants, how to use Sabres in the build lineups, given the, the assumption that the projections are accurate. All right, and then you want to abide by it. Okay, so here we go. Um, first thing, again, we'll look and see what we're getting just for fun. Um, mostly four fours and four threes, which is good. And mostly Texas. Okay, I have no opinion on that. That's just what we're getting. So let's do, again, let's do contest sims. And I'm just curious to see what these look like. So contest sims. Oh, so it doesn't carry over from DraftKings, which I guess is a good thing. So let's do start with the, um, with the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The squeeze. That's the basically the lottery over there, the flagship NME. So let's just take a look and see what this is. Um, I'll pull this in from the fan So the squeeze is... Let's see if we can get the information. So 7936. Let's see if we can figure out what these things are. So 7936 contest size. Let's put these in one at a time. 7936 contest size. How much is the first? Uh 10k out of 60. So 16%. To be specific, 16.7%. Percent. percent of entries paid. Um, so 12. No, oh, 1855 out of 17. Okay, so it's about 20%. Very nice. And good. So we're going to save settings there. We're only playing three contests there. We're playing the, um, the squeeze. We're going to play the monster. Let's take a look at that one. Monster is... 200 entries and the percentages are 33%. So it's very similar to that walk-off that we talked about before. So 200, a little less entries now. So 200, so we're gonna put in monster, 200, 33% to first. And this one, we're going to put a uh, high stakes MME. Same settings. And then the only other thing that we're playing there is the Grand Slam. And that's this one. We'll consider this mid-stakes MME. And this one's how many? Uh, 427. Let's first put this in. Uh, head Contest Sim. Grand Slam. This is going to be mid-stakes MME. And what did I say? Uh, 427 and then 4,000 out of 20,000. So 20%, 20%, 20%, 427. 20%, 20%. To 2020, let me just double check that. May as well get it right. Uh, yeah, 20% of that. All right. So uh, good. So we want to save these settings. And we have all three of these. And let's run a contest sim here. We're going to run 50 lineups. And just for fun, let's just see if there's if there's any, any time uh, savings because we're only playing three. Um, I think, what was it, one minute? Maybe a minute 30 for the last one? Let's just see. What else am I going to be doing today? I have to I have to look into this um, not underdog but this uh, owner's box thing. But we'll, we'll look at that in a second. Okay, so uh, we ran the contest sims, and now what we want to do is we want to well, let's first do min uniques two again, same as before, and then let's save these to my contests. Um, so now we have to upload my entries. So let's ooh. Well, let's just let's just let's just follow the prompts here. Okay, so it did oh so it did launch this just like that. So let's do CSV. You want to download this template. All right, that's good. And then we want to upload this entry file, which is here, which is good. Ooh, 
we're in, we're in business. So we want to put save to contests. Let's save to um, the squeeze. Oh, that's good. Very nice. And then we're going to do again, save to my contests. We're going to do, oh, uh, we screwed it up because we forgot to sort the right way. Okay, so let's go back. Squeeze. We'll sort by ROI. Ah, see, much different. Now we're going to save this to my contests. We save to squeeze. Boom. Okay. Now let's go to uh, monster. Monster. So for ROI, we don't need min uniques, but we also don't need 50 lineups. Very nice. Let's save this to my contests. We're going to save this to the monster. Boom. And now let's do as a Houston 4 4 with Texas, I think, or 4 3. And then uh, we'll go to the Grand Slam. Uh, one lineup, which is good. Save to my contests. Oh, except we need four. Hang on. So we need four lineups. And save these to my contests. Did we save this the right way? Yeah, Grand Slam ROI, save to my contests. Grand Slam, save. Okay. Now let's let's download this whole entry file. We'll go into here and we'll upload this file here. And we will edit all 55. Now we will double check and see that these all took. And it looks like they did. Very nice. Okay, um, so uh, that, well, let's, let's, we might go back and see what we have. Well, Houston and Texas in, in kind of the bigger buy-ins, right? Um, but in the squeeze, if I'm not mistaken, let's see stack exposure, uh, team stacks. You know, actually, as a matter of fact, oh no, in the squeeze, in my 50 lineups, what do we have? Uh, Texas, Houston, and Atlanta, but a lot of Texas, a lot of Houston throughout the uh, throughout the FanDuel. Um, and again, uh, that one thing you don't see any of is the Dodgers, which is interesting. Um, and the reason for that, I believe, is either number one they're expensive, and number two because uh, they're going to be popular. I think, uh, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, if it's long, I apologize, but I do want you to get the sense for what it takes to go through this uh, this process. And uh, that'll do it for today. Good luck, everybody.